Hi there, my name's Andy Freeman and this is Shush in 5 and this week we're thinking about being honest. To begin with, I wanted to think about just gaining some strength. To be honest with yourself, with other people, is a tough task. So let's just take a moment to restore our strength. Maybe you feel a little like this, a little empty, and you need just some time to refill. If we give out, give out, give out, with our jobs, with our work, with caring for others, with pressures, then we'll end up feeling like that. So it's vital to take a moment every once in a while to restore your strength. So let's start here. Breathe in and out, and each, on each inward breath, breathe in a sense of strength. What do you need today? What are the things that can help you today? What strength do you need? Where do you draw strength in your life? Each inward breath, just breathe in that sense of strength. Breathing in strength. And this is a sort of exercise you could do each morning if you want to, but at the end of the day, just take time to draw strength. Think about the things you draw strength from and think of those things. Imagine yourself filling with energy, with emotional energy, with strength. I can do this. people around me who care for me. Draw in strength. Because being honest with yourself is tough. Last year I wrote a, a little book of poems called Rhythms of Sorrow and it was designed to give voice to all of those things when we're struggling being honest we often can think well you know no negativity here or I don't want to hear this too heavy but actually it's really important for us to be honest with our feelings if you feel sad that's okay if you feel low it's all right to be that to be real about that it's okay to see your weaknesses as well as your strengths being totally positive if it's not real doesn't help us Graham Jones said, the person you need to be honest with is yourself. And then from there we can be positive. We can say, okay, well here I am here, so how now can I move forward? How can I look beyond? The brilliant Japanese writer Shashuku Endo said, every weakness contains within itself a strength. Every weakness contains within itself a strength. So we can see forward. Think to yourself for a moment now, how can I live honestly today? What's, what's really going on with me right now? And how can I be honest with that internally, first of all? It can result in some great things. If you're realizing you're not doing that great, you can give yourself some space to be kind to yourself. If you realize you know, you've got a particular passion or thought, maybe you can give some time to that today. I can be honest with myself and now I can be honest with others. Not massively, not throwing it all out there, but in a healthy way, just starting a little bit each day to be a bit more you, to be a bit more honest. And if that's in a hard time, that's okay to be that. One of the recurring mental health phrases we hear is, it's okay to be okay. That means it's okay for you to say you're not okay. And of course, then we ask for help. But then from there, we can look at life in a real way and we will find good things. There's a little thing for you to try this week. Why don't each day you try and look honestly for three things you're grateful for? Not something that's not really real, so don't be thankful for the day ahead if you don't feel thankful about it. 
but you can be thankful for the potential of the day. Or if you're worrying about a situation, be real about that, but what might come of that? This is maybe an opportunity for this. Being grateful channels our thinking in a different direction to look above the struggle and beyond to the future. So find three things that you're grateful for today and why don't we end there? What's something you're grateful for today? I'm grateful for the last of the summer, for friends and family who support me. And I'm grateful for the opportunities today is gonna to present. Have a think about your three. You can find a longer shush meditation on our well subscription. Check out the website to find out more about that and the link at the end of this film. But otherwise, have a great day and we'll see you again next week for another Shush in 5. Bye-bye.